Hey tribe, happy April 1st to you all. Um, I'm going to do a collective reading today with my uh, fairy oracle deck. And I hope today finds you well, embracing new beginnings in your life. I have um, five oracle cards out, so fives are about a transformation that is currently underway. having some coffee with you today. Welcome to the new subscribers, to my fans and followers. I love you guys. I love you guys. Um, I felt a little bit under the weather yesterday. It could be ascension symptoms. It could be what I ate. Um, I don't know, just not getting the right sleep. Um, so a lot of people could be going through that in the collective, you know, headaches, I'm hearing, body aches, um, sleepless nights, also like not knowing what to eat as your diet is changing, as you are changing. Um, it's important to nurture your body, your mind, your emotions, your spiritual practices at this time as you are changing, as you are embracing this new you, okay? Um, so let's see how the elementals are wanting to support us. I just noticed that I have angels on my cup. Angels supporting you. Angels are coming through today through this reading. Yay! I love that. I'm feeling that. Okay, I got my uh, bell out, my sound bell out, so let's start the reading with clearing some energy. Okay, so if you want to close your eyes for a minute, I'm going to just clear the energy, time for you to breathe in, breathe out, connect your light roots, right? And know that you are going to be hearing the messages that you need to hear today. You were drawn to this reading for a reason. So, and the elementals, the fae, the nature spirits, the tree spirits, earth spirits are supporting you along the way. Okay? I love you. It's interesting when I do my bell, how it, you know, the first ding was just so light and faint. And I was like, give it some more of your energy, Gwen. And then the next one came in a little stronger, but it was each a ding, ding, a ding, ding, not just one solid ding. So we'll see how that uh, gets interpreted into the reading. So let's get started here. Her special place. Find your own safe space inside and out. Card 16, which is a seven. Sevens are about, you are changing and evolution is occurring. It's to be mindful of your connection with nature. See how her dress turns into the lily pad here? The lotus has already risen. It's already bloomed, however you want to say it, okay? So connect again with your spiritual roots, with your higher self, connecting with nature, connecting in meditation, Finding your sacred space. What's this about? I already clarified it. What is this about? I said to my companion tarot. It's about your own inner, inner happiness. What we create in our inner world when we heal, right? When we nurture thyself first, when we fill up our own cup, when we know what our happiness is inside, in the inner temple, it is in our outer world. Ten of cups. I love that for the collective. Okay. Um, <clears throat> spending that quality time alone, her special place. Okay, and then Story Keeper is out next, card four. Look at all this blue energy. Blue is about truth. Blue is about uh, emotions, emotional healing. Story Keeper. Maybe you've been keeping your story to yourself keeping your secrets to yourself. Um, this card is saying that writing would be very therapeutic for you, but it's also time to tell your story. Um, 
the wisdom you've learned through the crisis or obstacles or struggle in your life. This is your legacy. She sits on this golden throne here. Okay. Four is about home foundations, the temple, the body. You look, you have some new truth, some new sort of perspective with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the master. This is self-mastery of the mind here. It's time to share your wisdom so that others know, like in, your, in the generations to come, your wisdom, what you learned. It's your legacy to share this. The sword of power, the sword of truth. A new, fresh perspective that you could even, like you could even be doing some channeled writing here, the story keeper. You've been afraid, you've been keeping things to yourself, and you've been afraid to take a leap of faith. Catch me in the reverse. You see this woman here, this being here. She leaps off the edge and she has no wings. Like what? what is... She's dressed in black with the white petticoat. It's about, she's learned a lot through doing her shadow work. There's an innocence about this, a full faith and trust in the unknown. The birds here, the birds are her, her wings, okay? Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. You've been afraid to do that. Why have you been afraid to do that? There's been a lot of negative energy around you, a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict within. Six of Cups receive, uh, Six of Cups energy as well came out. And the Knight of Pentacles sideways. So that's just the questioning that I feel with these cards. The internal battle within. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I be practical? Should I leap, move forward? Right? Sometimes I take baby steps, sometimes I don't. Fear is, is, fear is what's getting in your way here. Fear. Giving is receiving. They're saying here that with this, because this card's in reverse, I'm going to read it to you from the book, The Reverse Meaning. But the universe is an all-loving universe. Giving is receiving. You will be supported in this leap of faith because you are worthy of new beginnings. Here is the sun. Here is the clarity. Here is the... Uh, card one, <laughs> the three graces, mind, body, spirit, working together, cooperative ventures with friends, joy, sharing, new partnerships that are fun, relationships that feel good. That is what's coming. 13 and four. So like, see, I told you your angels are here. Four and four, four, four. Okay. And now a one. And now they give you a 111 here. 111. This is 111. This is I am on the path. Keep going. Even your baby steps count. It's good. You're learning lessons about having to trust yourself. Trust your intuitive voice with these two coming out. And you've been not, you've been afraid of that. That intuitive voice. That's the catch me. Knowing like that you are supported and guided by your higher self. By your future self. Okay, um, there's a sense of joy, celebration here with this card one. Sisterhood being depicted. Solar energy is about an inner expansion. The joy within, the happiness within, the special place within. You've made a decision. You had to trust your intuition to a source. See how she's blindfolded? Yeah. Two of Swords is stuck in indecision sometimes too. But I see this new beginning coming. I see you with the 111 energy, knowing you are on your path, knowing that destiny is coming. This is about adventure and travel too. It also could be meaning a new vehicle, a way of transportation coming into your life. You manifested it. But travel, adventure, and new love. This, this prince is out on his search for his soulmate, true love. Okay, it's clarified here with the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of uh, Wands. Yes, this is a gift from the Divine. It could be two different women here. Somebody or one person that's uh, one feminine. We all have feminine 
Um, but the Queen of Pentacles knows her worth, right? Surrounds herself with richness in life. Solid home foundations. Okay, always has more than enough. The universe provides. And this is my witch in my deck, the Queen of Wands, holding the sunflower of new beginnings, darling. This is some passionate, like, this is like entrepreneur energy here, too. Building an empire, having such beautiful vision, attracting in the abundance, the love from the universe, open to receiving energy, open to adventure, happiness, Meeting your destiny. <laughs> this is not always romantic love. It sometimes is. Just depends your situation. But it is. A, it's what you've hoped for. It's what you dreamed. What you wish for. It's coming. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. Big time with those two queens. Shield feminine energy there. Um, okay. So now I'm, i got to read Do You Catch Me, and we're going to leave it there today. There is the gatekeeper on the bottom of the deck here. And so, like, with the gatekeeper, it's about time, too, okay? We have been really programmed to think of time as being linear, but it's not, okay? When I say time, then it's an illusion, and it's like um, past self, future self, timelines merging, um, doorways being open where you think this door is closed, but that's just your, um, like you're soon going to realize the truth of who you are and that you have the keys here at this crossroad to pass this threshold, like you're going to no longer lie to yourself because there's this secret path that's being shown to you. Card 44, again, don't pay the, like pay attention to the numbers that keep showing up. An irresistible pull down a distinct path. Mystical traditions and ley lines. This path is open, is beckoning you, right? Follow me, right? And right now you might think that doorway is closed here. But like I'm telling you, you hold these magical powers. So you... Open the door. You hold the keys. You are the unicorn and the maiden. Like, it's just so beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now, let me go back to this catch me because of this leap of faith that you're a little afraid to take here. Card 13. Experience is our teacher, but we must not live energetically in the past. To do so is to risk never changing, and change is life itself. This fairy is taking what seems to be a great risk and doing the impossible. So if this card turns up in a spread reverse, it could well signify that you need to trust your inner voice more. You need to walk towards your own precipice, your own impossible feet, and take a chance. What could that be? Leaving a relationship? Knowing you will get through a tough situation? Finding your voice and speaking your truth? Believing in your abilities. The being in this card may not have wings, but she has faith and such trust. What are you placing what are you placing the power of your belief in? Is your belief supporting you or hurting you? What innate aspect of your wisdom do you need to reconnect with? Ask for help and assistance in facing your fears and walk into the future without having a guarantee. There are no guarantees. There is only the magical power of trust, faith, and surrender, and you will be uplifted and safe as long as you focus on staying out of fear. And I said that here, too. You were in fear a bit about, about you know, reciprocal energy because you've been really like the five of wands is like <clears throat> negative thoughts, conflict, battle, right? Not knowing when the right time to proceed. I gotta be practical. I gotta be realistic, right? And the spirit's nudging you to the edge there to take this leap, and you're, yeah. <laughs> but I see you starting a new beginning. Yep. 
when the seven of the seven of wands and seven of swords, excuse me, in in the reverse clarified that gatekeeper. So that's too about um, no longer hiding uh, things being exposed to you, no longer lying to yourself. Okay. Swords is about wisdom, too, okay? Sevens aren't about an evolution. We tend to think of this as the lying, cheating, stealing card. But we have to also remember, too, that it is a way, a, a, a cleverness um, of the mind that comes with this as well. So don't keep yourself stuck in repetitive patterns here, too. You are the keeper of the sword here. See how she holds the sword here? Okay. There was a card that said, as well, ask for help. You have guardians. You have angels. You have spirit guides with you. Elemental supporting you. Nature supporting you. Okay? It's time to embrace your happiness and on an adventurous new beginning. Trust and have faith that you are being guided your, your guides here celebrate you, okay? The tower is coming if you haven't experienced it already. That This is the change. This is the upheaval. This is the... So balance can be restored, all right? Don't fear the tower. You asked for change. That's the tower energy. And you've been stuck up in your head here with the five of swords telling you. Remember... Fives are change. He's walking out. The sorcerer is walking out with three swords of wisdom. Okay? Leaving the past in the past where you felt trapped, where you felt defeated. I've learned much through this situation. I'm empowered. I praise myself. I recognize myself. My tribe sees me. I see you. That's this energy. I've healed the divine masculine emotional body within me. I'm balanced. I'm highly sensitive, intuitive. I'm building my stability again, Ten of Pentacles, 10-10 ten, ten out here now. When the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups comes out here, that's a, a sign too, the angel's with you. So that's what I have for you today, y'all. Sorry the lighting's a little bit different, but it is in Massachusetts, a very cold, rainy, kind of grayish day. Not The lighting isn't the best in here. You, I um, utilize candlelight and natural light so you know it is what it is so i love you thanks for all of the support that you give the channel reach out to me if you need your own personal private reading i'm up for that i'm booking those so i'm here for you love you Mwah.